Good morning, everybody. It's the last day before my holidays. I just have to deliver this steel that I have on my trailer into Rosenor in Manitoba here. And then it's a wrap. Oh, we got all kinds of plans, it's gonna be fun. So I have an interesting story here. So the steel I picked up was in Minneapolis, but more accurately, it was in a suburb called Roseville, Minneapolis. Roseville, Minnesota. <clears throat> so I picked it up in Roseville, I'm now delivering it to Rosenort, Manitoba. To the place where my sister, Rose works. <laughs> That's a lot of roses. So Roseville to Rosenort to Rose. She's my oldest sister. Uh, don't get to see her that often because we have busy lives. So well, I might get to have lunch with her today. I'm excited about that. So let's let's go get this load delivered. Let's go say hi to my sister, and then let's head home. Got all my equipment off of it. It's unloading piece by piece over there. I've got my straps here that I'm rolling up. And once I'm done out here, I can go inside and say hi to my sister Rose. Never delivered to a place that she works before. It's kind of cool. I saw it on my uh, my load offer uh, last week already that I was coming here, and I had to tell her right away. Like, guess what? I'm bringing you your steel. It's me. It's me. I'm the man. I'm the steel man. So I got here just before lunch, which is perfect. Got here about 11.30 a.m. Tomorrow, we've got a uh, professional truck wash booked for Old Blue. Look at all those bugs on there, eh? We're going to a large car truck spa in Winkler, Manitoba. Getting her all cleaned up for the truck show on Friday. This steel, as heavy as it is, this was over 44,000 pounds of steel. It's pretty flexible. He's gonna pick it up here. 
you'll see how flexible it is. You'd think it would be a pretty solid piece, right? That's just stiff. No, surprising. It's amazing how they can make all these things, eh? Pretty neat, eh? And these are all different thicknesses. These are a little bit thicker. And these are thinner. All have different purposes, I guess. Heavy stuff, though. This is my sister, Rose. Hi. I'm not sure how many of you have met her before. If you've been watching long enough, you have. <laughs> I haven't been in as many videos as uh, my sister Cheryl, um, but yeah, I think there's a, you may have seen me a couple times. <laughs> yeah, it's such a coincidence. I was picking up in Roseville, delivering to Rose in Rosenort. <laughs> so I was telling her it's gonna be a good holiday. It's right before my holidays. I'm, I'm, I'm officially on holidays now. I've unloaded, well, I have to bring back the trailer yet, but we won't count that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, that's nice. Be off for a little bit? Yeah. Hang on. So there's a food truck in town here at the Rona. So we gotta have lunch together. It's called Duke's Burger Company. It's pretty good. Delicious. So she's gotta go back to work and I've gotta get back to my holidays. <laughs> yes. So that made my day. That was awesome, that made my week. I don't get to see my sister Rose that often. Both busy with our lives, and uh, we live a little bit further apart. She lives in a small town, not, not too far away. I can't really use that as an excuse. Uh, but, you know, life keeps going, and I don't always get to see her, and I never get to just sort of hang out with her, just me and her. So it was nice to go out for lunch and catch up a little bit. Really awesome. And I've got some leftovers for later. Cold fries. Goody. <laughs> I should have known that when you order food at a food truck, they always give you these massive portions, right? I should have just gotten a small fry. They're like, you don't know, no, I'm a hungry, I'm a hungry man. I'm gonna get a large fry. Large fry and a burger. <sighs> gave me like a dump truck load of fries. <laughs> Maybe they'll still taste good later. Maybe. Some fries do. You know, some fries you can eat later, you can eat cold. Other fries, like I'm thinking, McDonald's fries, once they're cold, it's over. Game over, it's done. It's disgusting. <laughs> we'll see how these are later, we'll see. Now, what was that place called again? That was, place was called uh, Duke's Burger Company. They're from Niverville, Manitoba. And uh, they just had the food truck parked out here. So yeah, I pulled in here and my sister asked if I wanted to go out for lunch. I said, absolutely and there was a food truck just down the street. So that was a nice treat. I hope they enjoy their steel. So I brought my sister Rose Steel from Roseville, Minnesota in Rosenort, Manitoba. From Roseville to Rosenort for Rose. <laughs> Come on, what are the chances of that? That's, that's pretty funny. beard giving myself a haircut sitting down on the back deck nice cold drink just a few short hours a few short hours I hope I hope off to home I go I sit and do nothing. Actually, that's a lie. I'm not going to be sitting and doing nothing at all. I have a one-year-old. Woo! <laughs> There's no such thing as sitting and doing nothing. Even before we had our one-year-old, I, I always still, still always had something to do. But a lot of projects to get done. But these are they're like fun projects, right? Like working on the fence at home, sealing up the bottom of that. That's a fun project. 
I'm looking forward to that. Making things look better. Maybe I'll go hang out in the backyard and talk to Myrtle, our tree, for a while. Help her grow a bit. I hear that if you speak positive things to plants, it actually helps them grow. Science. And I'll go out there and compliment her luscious leaves and beautiful hanging limbs. Who knows? Possibilities are endless. All I know is I'm not going to be trucking for a bit. I'm going to miss my truck. But, well, tomorrow we're going to the truck wash in Winkler, so we'll be in Old Blue tomorrow. The next day is the truck show, so we'll be in Old Blue then. You know, we still got some trucking stuff going on this week. Alright, well, this is where it all begins. Where it all ends. Where it ends and it begins. Where work ends for a little while and holidays begin. I'm gonna drop that trailer right there and I'm going home. And I'm not gonna think about work for a while. Well, we got the truck show, but that's different work. Different work. Okay, it's gonna be great. Let me share this moment with you. Is this what it feels like? <laughs> like I've been telling you, I haven't just booked off time just to have time off. Oh, I can't even remember when. Years. This is kind of exciting. Hey, you guys stay here, okay? I'm gonna drop that trailer right there. I'm gonna drive off towards my holidays and then I'm gonna stop shortly over there and come back and get you guys so I don't forget you here. But that's behind the scenes stuff that you don't need to know about. You're just gonna watch me driving away towards my holidays and pretend like I don't have to come back and get my camera. Okay. You can also pretend like I don't have to come all the way over here, set the camera up, go get the shot and then come back get the camera. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you guys probably figure happens, but I usually just cut this part out. Stay there. Don't fall. There's a puddle beneath. Don't fall in the water. You never saw me. Okay, cold fries are not good. But they're not bad. Oh man, unpacking the truck is more work than unstrapping a load and unloading it. Whew, it's hot, it is so hot. I'm getting all my stuff out of the truck because I'm gonna be home for a while now, right? So I wanna get it all cleaned out. Whole truck's getting detailed inside and out. So tomorrow the outside's getting detailed. I'll do the inside over my holidays sometime. 
but everything's got to come out. Everything's got to be washed. Everything's got to be cleaned. Look at this. Shouldn't be sweating this much. Man. Nice to get some airflow in here though. Whew. What's the temperature in here? Let's go check. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Think of a number in your head right now. How hot do you think it is? Look at how, look at my face. Look how hot I look. Not that kind of hot. The other hot. Look how hot I look. Okay, you wanna see how hot it is? It is. Over 25. Probably about 80 in here. Okay, Americans, stop laughing at me now, okay? You Southerners. I'm a Canadian. 80 is hot. I'm literally melting. I am, as we speak, melting like a snowman. I've still got to go to the store. Britt's birthday is tomorrow. Uh, I've got her gifts already. Uh, they should be arriving at our house tomorrow. Kind of late, but it should be there tomorrow. And uh, I gotta go out and grab a few things now, uh, take care of a few errands, uh, and uh, see how it goes from there. Her and Theo both are kind of feeling under the weather. So I'm going home to a sick house a little bit. They seem to have a case of the sniffles, a little bit of a cold or something. It's only the second time Theo's been sick in his life, and this one's worse than the first time. So, uh, yay, holidays, right? <laughs> at least it's a good time for it to happen. I mean, at least I'm not gonna be missing work. If I get sick, if I'm going home, I'm guessing I might get sick. At least I'm, I'll be on holidays and I won't be missing any work, right? With that being said, let's get our errands done and let's go home. Well, we made it home. We're gonna continue this in tomorrow's video. I'll see you then. Tomorrow we're going to a large car truck spa to get the truck detailed. I'm excited to show you what they can do there. So please tune in then. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you tomorrow.